Now let's move back to Excel. So I'm going to close and I'll save this document so that I don't lose any changes there and get back to the document manager in case we're working papers. So we have this Excel document that we just created, document number three, and I'm going to open it up. And that takes me to cell A1, as we see at the top here. Now what I want to do is bring in some calculations using the UDF. So in the connector toolbar, I want the linkage calculation toolbar once again, and it shows up. But now you can see that it does say UDF here. So it's going to pull in UDF calculations. And I want to go back to engagement properties with my cursor in cell A1. I'm in cell A1 here, and I can put my value in. And because I clicked on it, it automatically pulled the value in uh, very quickly. And that's because I had selected in the connector options earlier that the Excel formula is updated immediately. As a result, the linkage calculation automatically populates the Excel cell A1. We don't have to click on the Accept button for every cell. This allows us to quickly populate the Excel document with connector linkages. And I can click on any other value, um, and we have noticed that the calculation at the bottom of the linkage dialog and the value in the Excel document automatically change. So if I go to the date instead, it immediately puts the date, or, or pardon me, the address. Let's go back to the operating name. The operating name comes through, city, and so forth. So it's immediately updating that information for me. Now, if I click on cell A2, I'm going to type in the word fixed assets here. Just uh, sometimes it's just as easy to type in something that's static. And in cell A3 linkage, I'm going to go down to CLP2 year end date. Uh, sorry, that should be CLP13. I'm going to click on the value. And notice the value, how it comes in. But I need to select the date format in the pull down, and it immediately refreshes that for me as well. And everything comes in nice and clean. Now, moving down to cell five, I'm just going to do a couple things here account number, description, and I'm going to move over to G here. That's a long ways off. And this will be current and prior year, prior pair. That will work as well. Hopefully everyone's already had lunch. So I've got my current and prior year. We've got the account number showing here. And in the connector linkage dialog, I'm going to click on the accounts. The first account that I want is account 142 but I want to make sure my cursor's in the correct position. So in cell B7, I have account 142. In the Excel document, um, I'm going to next click on the description field and click on the description for the account 142. And it's coming in just like that. Now I want to click in column G7, cell G7. And I'm interested in the value for account 142, which is $10,000, just like that. Now, I did not check the format, so I want to change the format once again. And I'm going to pull that down to, do I want dollar signs? I don't. I'm going to go with this value right there. Now, I'm going to do the same thing for the prior year. I will select prior year here. It shows me the prior year value. I want account 142 prior year clicking on the value, and in goes to 10,000 for the prior year. So my current and prior year numbers happen to be the same. So we've uh, added UDF linkages in the Excel document. Now I want to modify one. So in the Excel document, I'm going to click on the current year cell for account 142. And I can click on the top of the linkage dialog where the file name is located. Notice that the fiscal year pull down has changed to the current year. And the calculation at the bottom of the dialog has also changed accordingly. The numeric format pull down has switched to the current format because the formatting is retained within the Excel cell formatting. The linkage dialog can be used to modify any connector linkages in Excel, but not in Word. So I'm going to click on the value for account 143. Let's do that 
again. And we can see that a second function is added to the formula, and that's because I move my cursor off to the right-hand side once again. Now, if I click over to the side here again, and I can move down a little bit further, I may want to add the value for account 146. And another function is added to in Excel has been updated as I'm doing this. Now I'm going to hit the cancel button here. I don't want to make all those changes. And that should revert back to its original value or not at all. So I want the value for account 142 as I did previously. And I want to include the depreciation there, amortization. So I'll pull that in just like that. And this time, I've got the net value showing. So connector linkage in Excel has been modified.